Father sees you, and there's more for you, and your body can't heal from anything. Right? Like there's, there's, just, there's just more you can do. But you have to know that, and you have to understand that to be able to have the passion to really go after it. Right? And digestion is a lot of that. And so there's this verse. Let me get to it. Let me get my left clicker. Oh, that was cool. So this is Romans 12, 1 and 2. Uh, and I love this verse because it makes our choices in eating and our dietary choices and the things we're doing every day more epic. Like it's it's bigger than lavender oil, you know what I mean? Like it, it's bigger than a salad. But there's a bigger purpose to what we're choosing every single day. So we always talk about Romans 12, 2. It says, Do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your liver. No. <laughs> your mind, right? And it talks about the thoughts. Well, we don't talk about Romans 12, 1 that much. And when you back up, Romans 12, 1, and I'm going to show you another version because it's, it's awesome. This one says, therefore, I urge you, brothers, uh, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. We'll look at this version here. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to read it to you. It's the only one I can find in this version. So this is the message. Which I, don't, I don't use it all the time, but sometimes just to see how it says it in like normal daily talk. It says, take your everyday, this is Romans 12, 1. It says, take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Then it says, don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit with it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God so you'll be changed from the inside out. Wow. Take your everyday, ordinary life. And so it's like really literally thinking about the fact that when we grab um, the food off of our plate, it's an act of worship. That's a totally different scenario than I'm just trying to lose five pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little bit different. And it's something like, it was something that the Lord had really laid on me like a couple of weeks ago, really like praying through and digging in on scripture. And it's, it's that big of a deal. Like us choosing to be as healthy as we can be. It doesn't mean that we have to be model thin. That's ridiculous. It just means like choosing to be healthier and choosing to work on it and be intentional is an act of worship. Like every single day. Wow. It's that, it's that epic. So we're going to talk about it with how it pertains to digestion. So as we get into digestion, any, any of the systems, if you're, going to, if you're going to support the body, you've got to have core four needs. So there's certain things that the body is created to have all the time, no matter what, that without them it will not function well. Uh, and it's not frankincense. I know. I know. Don't. Like dodging the tomatoes. Like frankincense oil is not necessary for the life of your body. It's amazing. It's amazing, you know, icing on the cake, and it helps with function, but there are certain things that the body was created to have to have, right? Like water, you know, it's, it's that big a deal. Um, good fats is one of them. So your core four needs are things that you have to have in your body to function well before you start getting into all this other stuff is one, everyone needs to be on a certain uh, type of omega-3 fatty acid, whether it's fish oil or if you have a problem with fish and you're not gonna do it, flaxseed oil or something like that. But fish oil is key. Um, and you're not getting enough out of the diet. Someone's always going to ask, well, don't I, can I just eat fish last week? No. Because if you cook the fish, then you're not getting all the fats. Uh, and so if you're going to eat fish, and you're going to eat it raw, straight out of the ocean, and not even skin it, and you're just going to eat it old school style, go for it. But you're not going to get the fats any other way out of the diet. That's right. So you have to be able to get some of it in a supplement. It's just, you know, welcome to our culture. It's like, you know, people ask me, do I really need to do supplements? I eat good. I have my own garden. I do all this stuff. We even have chickens. And I'm like, well, yeah, you still have to do supplements. Because uh, over the course of all of these decades in history, the soil just doesn't have the nutrients it used to. And even if you're making your own, you're not eating enough of it uh, because our culture has so much more stress in it. So your body's depleting nutrients faster now than they did 20 years ago. That's right. Or 40 years ago. Or 10 years ago. Okay. So you have to add more in. So fish oil, Omega Jazz uh, from Young Living is fantastic. Um, it's got uh, essential oils in it to help keep the fat healthy so it doesn't go rancid inside. So Tiff, if you're taking fish oil, it should never taste fishy, ever. So one way to test it, if it tastes fishy, I think it's spit everywhere, you see that? Right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was just told a while ago I wore this shirt last time I was here. I was like, dang it, where were y'all when I was packing? <laughs> I did. She was like, oh, that's the same shirt I took a picture with you last time. I'll show you. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I should pay attention to these things. I travel so much. I'm like grabbing shirts out of the closet. Like, I don't even know. So there you go. Whatever. 
So I hope you liked it. Last time, they got that word again for you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was busting out laughing. I go, really? She goes, yeah. I was like, what are okay. the chances? That's funny. Yeah. Cindy's going to totally know. My wife is a green. She will care about these things. She's like, oh my gosh, you wore the same shirt twice? I'm like, yeah, I guess. Like, I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, if you have like fish I should have been on a shirt. <laughs> oh, distractions, right? <laughs> Uh, so this is why they schedule me right after lunch. I know what Shannon does because I'm the one that's got the task of waking you up after you eat a big meal. And so like she puts me right after lunch too because she's like, wake them up, baby. You know, get them going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so with fish oil, if you're not sure whether your fish oil is good quality or not and you're taking capsules, bite a capsule. And pop it. If it tastes fishy and if you're like, oh, man, it's rotten. It should not taste or smell fishy. If it does, it's rancid. Uh, so you should not take that one. Don't right? you? That's not a good idea, right, Shannon? Like, rotten exactly. fish is not for you. That's bad, right? It's like tap water is crap water. It's like rotten fish is not for you. Um, so the two, only two brands of fish oil that I use a lot is Omega Giants because of the purity and the reason it stays so good in the capsules is because of the essential oils in there. They have antioxidants that keep the fish from going back. That's part of the deal. The other thing is, is with the essential oils inside the capsule, you absorb the fats better. And that's, that's one of the things that's a benefit of all of our supplements. You know, a lot of you guys, how many of you guys take at least one Young Living supplement a day on top of your oils? Good, but not all of you. Which that means there's not enough of you. You all should be. This fish oil is fantastic. Okay, it's really good. Uh, vitamin D is another one of your core four needs that you have to have. Uh, we don't have one in Young Living yet. A designated D. There's not enough in Omega Jazz. There's not enough in Mind Wise. So you need enough. You need more. Uh, typical adult dosing is you need about eight to 12,000 IUs a day. Because you're not getting enough, even if you're outside. You guys in the north, like in the south, we don't deal with this as much. Because again, last week it was 92 degrees. And it's sunny all the time. You're like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I come up here and it's like freezing. I'm like, yes. So awesome. But we have sunlight and we're closer to the equator. So we get more vitamin D. You don't get that up here, which is why you guys have seasonal affective disorder. Right? Sad. First time someone told me that last year, I was like, I don't know. They go, no, really. It's a thing. I'm like, you're sad? They give me medication for it. I go, come on, where's the scam artist in that? Where's the And they're like, no, really, it's a thing. I'm like, Come on. But then I researched more on it. I was like, oh, wow, they really did name a disorder sad and then medicate you for it. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Oh, man. And then medicate you for it. So vitamin D is huge, huge for this. Um, and Nate Choice is a really good company. You can get a liquid vitamin D. The other company that's really good is called Seeking Health. And so you can get those seekinghealth.com. Um, for adults, I, I go more Seeking Health. It's a higher dosing per drop. Uh, the innate choice is really great. It's fantastic for teens and kids and everybody that doesn't need quite as much. It's because it's 500 IUs per drop, so you only need a, a few drops of that. Uh, probiotics. We're going to talk a lot about fermentation and probiotics today because we're talking about your gut. And so you need good bacteria in your gut. Uh, now, in Living just changed our probiotic from life 5 to life 9, which is <laughs> yeah. um, You know, the only argument I had about it in the past is it didn't have enough strain. Well, they fixed that. So they added more strains in, which is great. And so now it's got like 17 billion CFUs or something like that of bacteria, which is fantastic. Uh, and the probiotics are literally the guards on the castle wall to keep your gut protected and to keep your gut uh, happy, right? And so they're huge for immune function, huge for digestive support. Now the fourth one of your core four is the one at the bottom, the greens product, right? So everyone needs to have fish oil, vitamin D, probiotics, and a greens product. Because none of you are eating enough salad, there's no way. Um, if you were uh, sitting around eating salad all day long, you wouldn't get enough salad that you need. It's just impossible. Uh, it's impossible to get the amount your body needs because of the stress we put it in, okay? Um, so the only options for you is to add in a greens product, like multi-greens is really great, or like do green smoothies, or get a powder like Pro Alpha Greens, or um, you know, like Hallelujah Acres has some products and things like that, so that you're getting like freeze-dried vegetables in your diet to get those enzymes and to get the nutrients from them, okay? Um, these top two, I'm not, a, I'm not a multivitamin guy. Like I don't really, I don't really do the whole multivitamin thing. I'm not really big on it. I want you to get it out of your food. But if you're gonna take one, uh, Master Formula is awesome, and so it's, it's a good one. Um, but again, if you want that, then go for it. Nature Red, Nature Red should be essential to life. Like if I was like remaking it, that would be what would be essential to life because it's so epic 
and how much it supports your body. It literally supports every system in the body. So if, if people ask me like, well, if you could just have one product from all of Healing Living, you know, they do this thing like, if you're trapped on an island, <laughs> well, first off, I wouldn't go to that island if I was going to get trapped, I'm just saying. Uh, but if you could have one product, I would have uh, a tap of Nature Red at my house. Yep. Like, yep, yep. Because it's awesome. Okay? Tons of antioxidants in there, which are important. Uh, citrus oils uh, in, the anti in, that, in that blend to help with gut support, circulation, pH balance, uh, all kinds of stuff. Lymphatic support, immune support, all that. So it's really good. Okay, so let's get into the process of digestion and how your body actually does this thing. Um, because most of you guys don't even know what happens when the food goes into your mouth. You're like, oh, like last night, you know, we had, um, we went to Boston's Pizza Place. And so I had like my, my good guy food and then I had my not so good guy food. So I had like my salad with salmon on it. You know, it's like, yay. And then I had a, they call it a pizza burrito up here, you know, like, whoa. Brian's like, bam. Amanda followed me. She's like, you got a pizza burrito? And it says in the menu, pizza burrito. It's a calzone. Right? But, but they call it a pizza burrito. And I'm like, rock on. I mean, like, we don't have burritos in our pizza in Texas. We call them Hot Pockets. And they're awesome. <laughs> I was like, we, we were both growing up. We had Hot Pockets. Pizza burritos were way too expensive. So we got a pizza burrito. And it was terrible. I mean, like, I mean, I'll tell you, like, we were like, Ugh, we ate like two bites of it. And I was like, dude, we're not going to do it. But um, you don't even know what happens when that food goes in your mouth. Like, understanding the process is key to knowing how to support it better. You understand? So when you eat a carbohydrate, so the crust around that pizza burrito, or fruit is a carbohydrate, you know, whatever it is, it's a carb. The process of breaking down the carb starts in your mouth. You have uh, an enzyme called salivary amylase. It starts to break the carbs down in your mouth, and then the rest of the breakdown happens in your stomach, and you absorb it from there, right? Proteins, so the sausage in that pizza burrito, or the jerky you eat, or your protein shake, your pure protein complete shake, whatever, Protein skips the mouth. You get no digestion here. All the digestion happens in the stomach. You break it all down in your stomach, and then a little bit happens in the small intestine, and you absorb it in your intestines. Fats, so when you get to that category, you skip the mouth. This is incredible. Watch this. So you skip the mouth. I'm a geek on physiology. You're going to get this. So I'm like, oh my gosh, watch this. This is so awesome. Everybody's like, man, he's like really excited about the cold. <laughs> I'm just glad it works, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm glad this, God did this and I didn't because he didn't forget anything. It was great. Um, so fats, they skip the mouth, they skip the stomach. There's no digestion in either one. What happens, when that fat hits your stomach, it sends a signal out to your, out to your liver and your gallbladder, and it sends a, it's called cholecystokinin. I'm not going to test you on it. Don't run it down. I just felt feel smart saying it, so it's cool. Cholecystokinin. It sends it out and it says, hey, there's fat in here. And the gallbladder, if you have one, hopefully, if you don't, then there's help for you. There's stuff you can do. But if you have your gallbladder, it then starts dumping bile into your stomach to not digest the fat, but to thin it out. It's called emulsification. So it thins the fats out so that once it gets into the intestine, you can absorb it through the lining. It's incredible. And so having properly functioning systems all the way down is important or you're deficient. So that's why yesterday, I don't know if we talked about yesterday, I talked to somebody about it yesterday, about how when you're using oils topically, about how one of the things that's so amazing about either the aromatic or the topical use of essential oils is that you're getting uh, help from those and you're getting functional change from those oils, whether or not your gut is 100%, because I guarantee you if we do a functional test on everybody in this room, 99% of you, your gut doesn't work right. Welcome to America. Like it's literally a cultural thing. And we've got a problem with gut function because of stress and how our culture set up. Well, then what that means is that you're not absorbing all the nutrients you're taking in. You can't. For example, studies have shown that if you take a, like, let's take the best quality fish oil on the market. Whatever. Let's take a oh. And let's say that you're taking 1,000 milligrams of fish oil. Studies show that because of the function of digestive systems in America, the typical person in America, right, you're only going to absorb, if you, if you take 1,000 milligrams, you're only going to absorb 15 to 20% of that, That's right. which is about 150 milligrams of the fish oil out of that supplement because of the way that the gut is not doing what it should. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take it. You still should. But it also is part of the reason why <laughs> some of you guys are like, man, I took that, and I didn't really feel anything. Well, you probably absorbed 100 milligrams of it, and you needed like 2,000. You see what I'm saying? 
And so most of the time when I work with patients in office or on the road when I'm working with you guys in the field, the thing I find is you just don't take enough of anything. And you don't use the oils enough. Like, you're like, okay, like, you know, I'm gonna put my oil on, hold on. <laughs> right? That's right. And then like a week later you don't have you haven't put any more on and you're like, I still have the thing. Like what's wrong? These things don't work, these are crap. No. Like you're suggesting to the body to do something better. Like an oil is literally a suggestion for the body to improve function. Hear me. Here's the difference in an oil and a medication. The oil, the essential oil, goes, hey, you're going to